Well, good morning, everybody. Those of you that are sleeping in, that's great. Congratulations. You got a couple of days off. We're looking at 48 um, eight degrees, but that's out on the island at Waves Resort uh, in the city. Uh, we're a little bit cooler, so it's chilly morning, about 44 as you head out the door, but we're getting a little fog developing right now. You can see our humidity is fairly high and our winds are light, so fog is going to be kind of an issue. We got up to 65 yesterday. Not a bad looking day. Cool and crisp for your um, Sunday. Now for the rest of the week, the only thing we have is morning fog and afternoon sun. That is your forecast for about seven days. But right now it all depends on where you're standing. So we've got 10 mile visibility at the airport, but a quarter mile down in Kingsville and three miles in the Robstown area. So that's the only thing we're going to deal with. In fact, we're under, you know, as I mentioned, high pressure is fair weather. The problem is for us, the fair weather has a little bit of hum um, humidity attached to it. That's why we're getting the fog. But after that burns off, it's going to be a beautiful day. Now, those of you that may be traveling, here's you, you got to see what's going on around the country. Well, we're beginning to pick up some high level moisture here. That's uh, not a problem, but that's really not going to affect your weather until about the coming weekend. So we got a streak of fairly gorgeous weather for most of the state. Here's the low. You can see the dry air that's been ingested in it, but it's still raining in Florida. And of course, really, for the next five days, uh, the West Coast is really the, where the action is going to be. Uh, notice a very large storm here, major front bringing rain into Southern California, and some of you may be connecting through LA, and LA is going to be getting rain most, most of today. Of course, Florida and Georgia are under the gun, but the Northeast is clear and cold. This is the next 48 hours of precipitation, and you can see the heaviest stuff will be right there off of South Carolina. So, you know, around it shouldn't be too bad. The East, Northeast is doing well, Midwest is doing well. The West Coast, well, it's almost kind of a southern quadrant. Uh, I'm talking even Phoenix, uh, Nevada, Las Vegas, uh, Utah, and Southern California are going to be under the gun for that particular storm. Where is the storm and why is it not coming in our direction? Well, it is coming, but it's going to be a very slow mover. Here we got Future Tracker. We're going through Tuesday. We're going all the way into Wednesday. You can see how nothing coming at us from over here. One little bit of cloud cover, and that would be on Wednesday, Christmas Day. But on Christmas Day, the front is still out in the west. So on Christmas Day, it probably will be snowing in the mountains north of, of uh, Santa Fe and New Mexico and in Phoenix and might even be snowing in Las Vegas on Christmas Day. What about us? Well, we've got some gorgeous weather other than morning fog. Don't have anything to worry about. We're looking for afternoon sun and fairly mild weather. Look at that, 70, going up to 74. 74 on Christmas Day and mild weather all the way through Friday until the next front comes in, but that's not till Saturday night of next weekend. In the meantime, go out there and enjoy. That's your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. Sonia, back to you.